What does Joe Cocker, Luciano Pavarotti, and Joni Mitchell all have in common? All these musical legends performed here at Hamer Hall. Next month, this iconic Melbourne venue will shut its doors for a two-year refurbishment. My name is Saeed Saeed from Leader Newspapers, and today we speak to Melbourne conductor John Foreman about what Hamer Hall means to him. Yeah, when this building opened 27 years ago, it was state-of-the-art at the time. Uh, but of course, a lot has changed then in terms of how concerts are presented and so on. So it'll be once again state-of-the-art, and that'll be a fantastic thing for Melbourne. One of the most distinctive features of this venue that I think is going is the collection of sound clouds up there on the roof, which look very impressive, but I can't help wondering every time I'm in here, what the hell's holding them up? And that nervous anticipation that they might actually fall down on someone's head, but luckily that hasn't happened. I've watched more concerts here than I've been involved in as a performer. Uh, I mean, there have been a few things I've done on the stage, but by and large, the, the majority of my interaction with this place has been as, uh, as an audience member, as a consumer of, of entertainment and music. Uh, so this place obviously has a very rich history, and these uh, walls have been witness to some amazing world-class performances over the years. So whatever form or shape or colour the new mm. room takes, it will still carry with it mm. the, the history and uh, you know, the memories of the amazing performances that have occurred here over the years.